Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Wonderful Wednesday here at Natik Yarns in Elk Grove, California. So excited. Oh my gosh. Susan, can you bring my notebook here? Uh, we become addicted. I know, I'm devices. like, well, and I just, I'm like, hold on, I have a thought. Yeah. Let me grab the paper. Susan and I both bought digital notebooks and I had bought it. I bought two. Susan bought one from me. Then my original one was crappy, so I returned it and bought the one that I sold to Susan. It's a game changer, people. So it is, uh, all my notes are on here. And uh, I think it's fantastic. I don't know, I'm in love with it. But I love this for video, so instead of writing on there, I literally have a folder that says, Live in the Boutique. So, um, okay, it is freezing cold today. Last night was the first day we've had frost. Like oh it, was God, a, it was freezing a this morning. Frosty. I wore cashmere socks, pajamas to bed, which most of you guys know, I'm super honest. I don't wear clothes to bed because it's I'm so warm normally. And then I took my heated throw and laid that on my bed too. I was so cold last night. That's why I had to post that picture I posted in the collective. It was so cold. And it's the same temperature in my house. It always is. But it feels colder. <clears throat> so it was so cold that my antisocial cat came and laid with me. I'm like, okay. She was cold. She's like, give me your body heat. I have no delusions that she did it because she loves me. No, I know it's because she was cold. Thank you. I got, okay. I had a lot of emails i love when you guys email me crazy things <laughs> i had emails what did i do to my hair so here's the thing if you have wavy hair or curly hair the secret is the product so normally you guys i wash my hair condition it i put in the product and i let it dry naturally this time i was like let me try what i've been seeing on tiktok <laughs> so I use my product, I scrunch it, I then use praying hands with a gel, I plopped it on my head for 20 minutes, and then I um, diffused it. But this is bed head. I didn't brush it, I did nothing to it today. So I'm like, it's not so bad. And it really gives me a good curl. So I say this. I, I say this with love. I hate your bed head. No, seriously. I look like I lost a fight with a cat. So everyone, I must have got fifteen emails about it, but that's what I did. So if you have reasonably curly hair, less products is what I recommend, and go up one up from what you think that you're gonna like. Um, it is getting long. It's a little too long for me. But whatever. I'm just going to embrace it and keep going. And part of it is for Everly. I want her to be surrounded by curly hair so that she loves her hair. And so that's why I never straighten it anymore. I just want my granddaughter to love her hair and be, realize that lots of people have curly hair. So Yeah, because no matter what, whatever we're born with is what we hate. Listen, I had <laughs> straight hair until I was 20, 21, and then it just started coming. So you never know what you're gonna get um yeah my i have a two story and for any of you guys with two stories you know what i mean you're downstairs watching tv you have the heater set at 68 and it barely gets to 68 you go upstairs at 75 <laughs> so that's what i live in um but yeah it is cold it's so cold i have not wanted to use my hot tub because, because the getting in and out. Heated. Like, I've literally contemplated taking a hot bath, right? And I'm like, no, that's a waste. You have a hot tub to use. I, it's too cold to walk from one to the other. And getting out of it, oh, it's horrendous. So, thank you all, you guys, for all the love. Uh, Lisa, every baby, it got curlier. I will pull, I'm going to pull some pictures for you guys. I'll have to look um, of what. I mean, I had straight hair, didn't have to do anything. Like, I used to wear a bob in high school. I would shower, my hair was perfect. There, I do remember there was one piece in the back that flipped. That was my indication of crazy hair. But, um, yeah, it is all products. And having a lot of people with curly hair, it's dry, so it has to be moisturized. 
and everybody's hair is different with curly hair. So, um, what else? I have a crazy idea. What? We'll wrap. You have a pergola over your hot tub, don't you? No. Darn it. You know why? Because I like to see the stars. Okay. Because I was, maybe somebody has an easy up. We can put an easy up over it, wrap it in tarps and run a space heater in there so you can be warm I mean, when you get in work. and out. It's very redneck buy, looking. I did <laughs> buy a heater that goes outside yeah. and it works amazing. Um, so I need to do, I wish I had a remote so I could literally just sit on my inside and turn it on. So it's already heated. So I did buy that from Costco. Oh, interesting. Lisa's. Lisa's hair was curly before she had her son, then it went uh, wavy. Thank you, Roxanne. So, I don't know. I am, you guys, I have hardly done any shopping. I was like, tick tock, it's the 14th. I have 10 days to buy. Amazon to the rescue. <laughs> and I don't even want to. Are you, am I the only one? No. I'm not ball humbug. No. But my children buy everything that they want. It's so, a, I, I'm, like, I'm over mm. the gift exchange part of it. Like I'm over the, we're all required to buy gifts for each other and then we're all required to love them and yeah, be thrilled with them. And I'm like, no, I just want to get together and not worry about yeah. presents. I will say my children have decided we're picking names. So I only have to buy for one of them and it's my daughter-in-law. Thank God. Cause she's easy. I could buy her anything. She'll be happy about it. But I still feel Nolan, since he's the baby, he should still get a present from me. And then they wouldn't give up stockings. Of course not. <laughs> stockings still have to be done. And then they maybe pajamas, but I don't even feel like that either. I don't know. I just want to get together with them. That's it. Hang out with them. I want them all together. I, you know, if all my kids could just teleport to my house for Christmas, I'd be right. happy. I just love that. I love spending time with them because they're just like me, except for Nolan. But they're opinionated and have no problems. I've raised the most confident children ever. It's a little embarrassing. I feel like you guys might be a little too confident. A little too confident sometimes. Oh, I love it. Kathy Delgado said they pick names this year and I buy for the single ones. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to reach out to the kids because last year no one bought me stocking stuff and I was really sad about it. So what I'm going to send out an email like, hey, I'm doing stockings for everybody. Each of you are responsible for one of my stocking items because if you guys didn't know, we have, I have done this thing for a long time. They get four things in their stocking, something to eat, something to read, something to play with and something they need. So four kids four presents so we'll see everybody's getting toothpaste no. they all they all need toothpaste <laughs> i think i'm gonna do hats oh that'll be good yeah i may do hats because i finished one for everly i'm gonna start kelsey's uh eat i always buy my gift certificate or candy actually this year i thought hopefully my kids don't watch this i did the trader joe's uh, they have a oh those bars candy bar like a five pound bar or whatever. I bought that. Your mouth is they, they won't like those. You should bring those here. They're so good. Trader Joe's has a limited edition chocolate bar. That's amazing. Amazing. I brought it in for the Stop staff. talking about we it. polished it off like that. I'm turning Thank into a St. Bernard over here. Red hair. Lisa's got great hair too. I don't know how she manages all that beautiful hair. Oh, she's got beautiful hair too. I was cats. See, Cindy's like me. Toothpaste. It was supposed to be funny. Yeah. I All wasn't right. serious. I can keep talking. I'm on fire today. I'm getting good sleep again, and that's really helping my mindset. I'm feeling much better. Like, what did I say the other day? 80%? I'm probably like 95 right now, which is good. Sleep is amazing. It is. All right. Here we are with our grand prize. We have three beautiful skeins of fingering weight yarn, Alexandra, the art of yarn. We have dream in color, lavender blooms. This is smushy cashmere. And we also have Noro silk garden sock yarn. You're gonna hold one strand of each together and you're gonna knit it. I mean, this is what I'm telling you guys, something like this at size 10 and a half needle. 10 and a half needle, and you can whip this out in an easy night. 
You can use your stash. We all have little bits and bobs and you can magic double knot the pieces together. Drop one, pick up another, make it more um, like Monet impressionist type of look. This is going to yield you two smalls or really you could even do a large in almost a small. It might not be as tall, but you could easily do it. These have a little bit at least, oh, this one has 330, so I guess you can't do that. I forgot. But you could one. still do one large for sure. You could do one large for sure. We have been selling these patterns like crazy because we're at crunch time, people. Mm -hmm. If you're giving handmade gifts, you should not be knitting on anything smaller than a 10 and a half because uh, beat, beat, you got to be in a hurry. Which happens to be a cowl happens. that is. Exactly. One of our in patterns. the large needles, bulky yarn. Is it bulky or three strands? No, Viet Viet is the out of the Bergen, the oh, chainette. Yeah, yeah. So it's bulky, although you could do three strands. We have re yarned. We re yarn our patterns all the time for what's new in the boutique. So I'm like, what, what's that one? You're like, what, what are my patterns out of? Um, the pattern we're showcasing, the yarn we're showcasing today will be perfect for Rapido. It is available on Ravelry. Um, oh, it would be so squishy and soft out of this yarn. And I just want to say thanks to everyone who have been actually posting your patterns on Ravelry uh, or their projects. Game changer for us. We are selling more patterns, which is really what we want to do. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate it because it does, it legitimizes your patterns when there are projects. Exactly. Otherwise people are like, no one's knit at this. That's why if any of you guys uh, knit for Iris, that's why she has, you don't get the first clue until your project is in there. And then you don't that get the second clue until you post progress. Exactly. That is why designers do that. Uh, this pattern right here is called Rapido or Rapido, but it's actually French. So Rapido, I'm gonna pull it up so you guys can see. Here, let me do a like, quick thing. Type the word rapid, put an O on the end. And then how do they get that prize that I talked about? Oh, for, to get entered into the grand prize, you just have to make a purchase. And it can be in the boutique, oh, online at natiqueyarns.com, and even over the phone with us. It's from the 1st through the 15th of December. Every purchase gets an entry. So if you purchase five times, you get five entries. 10 times, you get 10 entries. And then on Friday the 16th, we will draw to see who the winner is. Okay, I'm just pulling to help you guys. Here's our patterns out of bulky and super bulky. Look at this, so many quick, 62 of our patterns are fast. Oh, here's beep beep. That, that is a quick one. Out of Lang Bergen, you can use Cumulus. It's deliciously easy. Ribbing, uh, Pearl Ridge, Stockinette, and then reverse it out. Let me find Rapido, so maybe, here it is. I know this one's on one of our, like we need to knit a new one because this was, this was that Derez yarn. It I was? Think. That or it was the Fido. Oh, Pepino. Yeah. We just need to, yeah. So it's fingering weight uh, held together. Three of them, ten and a half needle. Gorgeous. Oh, no, that is right. That was weird. Yardage because it's like Because it's three. totaling up okay. the three. I was like, that's weird. All right, so let me, I think I can make it big, Nancy, for you. There you go. Just a pretty knit pearl texture. It's not crisp, though. I know. It, our old photos all went bleh. Okay, well, there you go. Fast. When I mean fast, wonderful. Like, you guys know, I'm in love with quick, quick projects. That's my dream project. All right. Um... Oh, go Nancy, go. She said she has about six cowls done and needs to do three more. All in one color? Mm -hmm. Okay. Our daily prize is this deliciousness. Is this left over from your sweater? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys were, we've been all going through our stash. Like, oh, what do 
we have for prizes? It's a great way to clear it out. But we have two beautiful skeins of Concept Cosmopolitan. Uh, we do not carry this in the boutique anymore. I think it's in our clearance. But it is essentially a um, worsted weight yarn. And originally we did it out of colors, but you don't need to. You can do it out of one color. 88% um, viscose, 12% polyester. What are some options that they could use for this? Oh, the um, wool stock mini bundles would be good. Oh, that would. Hold on, let me grab that. Um, Rios, of course. I think... Uh, Silk Garden. Anything in from Noro in worsted weight would be fantastic. Cumulus uh, Rainbow. Um, if you like sparkly, um, there's that one um, Cotton Merino Glam. Oh, I love that one. I think that was at the back door. It was? It sounds like one of the delivery trucks for next door. They're very loud. Um, all right, so here are the mini skein bundles that we were talking about. We just featured these um, last week, so if you want like lots of ideas for projects out of them, you can find our video um, talking about lots of different patterns and all the colors, but these are a bundle of worsted weight mini skeins in, you get seven colors, there's three minis of each, so 21 total skeins. Um, it is a 100% Highland Peruvian wool that totals up, all the skeins total up to the 252 yards. And there's a neutrals pack. There's this really pretty fall bundle. This one's my favorite. There's the blues and greens. And you could pretty easily, like on this cowl, we only used five colors, but you could easily do more if you wanted. Like we've got these five sections. You could easily add sections and make it taller, or you could even like stripe the garter stitch between two colors. So you do two rows, two rows to blend two colors together. Um, be really fun to just kind of play with the color palette and do your own thing. You could even be random about it because it's just a nice simple pattern of ribbing, mesh lace, garter, mesh lace, and ribbing. So it'd be really fun to play with the different colors in the bundle. You know what would be amazing? The new art yarns. Mm, one skein of Silky Twist would do it. Yeah. So that just gives you some ideas of of other possibilities. So one lucky winner is gonna get uh, this prize, how, how you get entered. If you're new to the boutique, just to let you guys know, every day we give away a kit that we've put together and you can get um, entries by the reactions. Every time you react to the video, you're gonna get one entry for every reaction. So when we show a color that you like or a pattern that you like, uh, feel free to be generous with your uh, reactions and that just just gonna yield more entries for you uh, all these comments we love uh, and even though it says 15 I know there's more oh my gosh I've read at least 15 right it does that sometimes where it doesn't catch up see we're already at 90 comments you get five entries for every comment and the quickest way to just uh, jump your Entries is sharing to your friends, sharing to your stories, sharing to your favorite group. You do have to pop back in here and write shared to my stories. Oops, my hands are cold. Shared to my groups. No. Friends. Friends, thank you. Oh, friends, friends, hold on. It, it doesn't, that part, if you spell that part wrong, it doesn't care. Don't know, worry about I'm it. I'm a perfectionist. It, there we go. And that's going to give me 11 entries for every time that you're doing it. Oh, Darla, I can't wait to see it. Make sure you post your project on the collective. We all like to see that. She was saying she's making great progress on a making circles in the sky. Cow. Awesome. One of my favorite ones. Uh, Maria, they do have a beautiful wrap oh, on their yes, website. They do. Two bundles and a large skein of wool stock. There, I don't know, is Susan's one around here that she did? It is probably on her chair. Oh, so Susan actually did a wrap out of it. So did, who else? Susie? Um, Aura. Aura did one. 
So super fun. And on Aura's, we paired hers with Rios for the main color so mm -hmm. that she could have a pretty blue instead of the gray. So here is one of our patterns. You guys know Big we love, Hill. We love a wrap, but Susan sewed this so it makes the most beautiful uh, poncho. And she did different colors. So even though this matches up, um, and the other thing, just to show you guys, this was done, um, you could do it by hand or by machine, but we magic double knotted the colors together. So you just did the stripes as they landed and you'll see here's where it changed. Here's where it changed. But overall, you don't even really notice nope. it. And then there's even a spot right here in the center that has it. I think on Susie's, we didn't do that. We just did it at the edges. Yeah. But really pretty. Um, that sounds familiar. All right, let's gonna let's see who's gonna be the winner of this prize. I just finished my holiday sweater with that yarn. Wait, Karen. Karen is like. Wait, she finished her holiday sweater already. I thought you were like worried that you weren't gonna get it done, friend. I mean, that's crazy. Wait, this is for her party. I, yeah. Oh yeah, I want to see that. We'll take pictures. Like pictures, uh, this new pictures. Pattern that we're talking about is Fig Hill. It's part of, I think we're at 162 patterns. I've and lost actually, count. Actually, we have about 10 coming up uh, through the pipelines. So you guys will see. Um, I just did, was it five? Five or six patterns of the new Malabrigo Novento, which is amazing. Again, we're calling it bulky. They call it super bulky. I disagree with that. And it's 100% super wash wool. It's amazing. It's so soft. Okay. Okay. So, sorry, my nose is running. Because it's, it's cold. <clears throat> yeah, my feet. My fingers. I get Raynards. Do you guys, any of you guys get that? Where the tips, when it's cold, the tips, your fingers, they look like dead people's. No. I just pink up. Mine go white. Like there's no blood in them. I'll have to take a picture of it. It's the craziest thing. My mom had that. I mean, it's, sometimes your mothers are the gifts that came. Right? I know. I swear. I always joke. My parents gave me the worst of their genetics. I'm oh, like, could no. you guys have maybe given me the good stuff? Right? It's so funny. I mean, I always joke about that. Um, I used to joke about that with my mom. She gave me all her good stuff too, so I will take it. All right, here we are. Um, let me rearrange my scarf. So this is based off of yesterday's comments, reactions. Oh, I forgot to say if they, sh oh no, I did share. Oh, you did share. I am, my brain is finally firing on all cylinders. Um, all right, so this is based off of yesterday's video live in the boutique. Remember, it is not just if you're watching it live. If you watch it after the fact, you get entered in everything too. So make sure to comment, react, just pretend you're watching it live. All right, let's see who's going to be the lucky. Oh. Or it could scroll away oh, from you. <laughs> oh, Lisa Martin Bowman. This color would look fantastic on her. Happy continuing birthday. That's right. And yesterday was her birthday. Okay, so Lisa, since I know for sure you're local, you have the easy task of stop by the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 to 5 and say, can I pick up my prize? And we'll hand it over. And then for those of you who have won recently or might win in the future, if you're not local, the way you collect your prize is when you place an order at natikyarns.com. You just have to put in the notes that you have a prize and then we'll send it out with your order in one of the pretty pink packages and get it on its way to you. Okay. So right. that is that for the prizes. Sorry, I had to run out because my nose was driving me crazy. Yeah, it's a little crispy critter. It was 60 when I got here this morning, so it was trying. Yeah. I got to reprogram it a little bit, but it's trying. We're figuring it out because it's getting a little too cold. I think I might need to start it an hour before we get here instead of half so an hour. Because it's 
because it's not going to catch up like it needs to. And I don't feel like being a popsicle anymore. It's taking, honestly, the one at the last shop was so much better. This one's just taking a while to catch. Yeah. You can tell that when they said they replaced all the units when they did the roof, that no, they didn't. They did not. No, I think they... I, I think... Know. I I know they did ours because ours got better. But I'm suspicious that maybe they didn't do everybody's. I would be suspicious. No, for sure, because the guy said... This oh, yeah, like he said it was like 20 years old or something. 25 years old. That's why you sign your contract that you're not going to fix, replace their air conditioner. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because that's way too expensive. All right. I am so excited about... The first thing I'm going to do is talk about our daily prize. Our daily prize. Jeez. Our like, 12 we days just of did love. that. <laughs> so we are featuring our 12 days of love are these exclusive tins of ours. Um, here's what I love. This is magnet, so you can pick up your markers in a hurry. And... It's funny it magneted. It also oh yeah, because there's, oh, there's there's another half there. of the magnet, so that oh. way you can take this off and like put it on your bag as, or on your fridge, like you can and still have a magnet to pick up and your markers you get with. All these markers, these are made by uh, Veronica of Dream and Color, her son. He does so all the cutting out and all these fun little markers. Here's what I like about it. I hate to say that markers are disposable, but somehow you always lose them. It's not that they're disposable. It's that they're impossible to keep a hold they of. They have a great escape mentality. So here we are. Yeah. You get all these beautiful shapes that are cut out and then these beautiful rainbow rings. Uh, you guys know my theory, the beginning of the round I double, and then every repeat I put a single marker. They are fantastic. We have, uh, we sold so many of them last night. We've got maybe a half a dozen left. Uh, the original price is $27.99, and they are currently $14.99. I think this is a great gift for your friends who are knitters and crocheters that is original. You're not gonna find this at many other stores. I only know a couple stores who have done it. And I just think it's really beautiful. I like these, these are solid. Um, they almost have a little coating over them, but they do not snag, there's no spots in it. And then even the dangly ones, they go up to a bigger size. I would say 10 and a half on this one. What do you think? Are they the same size as the other ones? I think so, which means they go up to a 10. All right. And there you go. So I don't know how many are in here. Um, we didn't write that on our, on our thing, but I'm gonna say three dozen. Okay, 12 There's, of this. And 24 over the rings, oh. so 36. That was a great guess. That was a to fantastic me. guess. Where's right? one of those jelly bean contests? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, ah, three dozen. So three dozen, I really like having this here um, because then you can just, if they fall on the floor, and then you just have to peel it off if you need it. So that is our, I don't know what day we're on, four? Five? I've lost count. So we'll say day five of uh, local love for you guys. We're trying to help you Six. check people off your list. Cause if you're like me, uh, kind of last minute, we're shipping out daily. I believe we're caught up pretty close. Yep. I think I have two more to do back there two from this from morning. Yesterday. So unless we're waiting on something for you, your order has shipped, you would get an email with your tracking. And once it leaves our hands, we are not responsible for how it gets there. It or how left. long it takes. Yes, we do our best, but you guys know how um, the mail. These poor people, they're working their buns off, so. I can tell they've gotten busier because they make it to my neighborhood at like six o'clock oh, yeah. at night now. Uh, UPS is working seven days a week. Post office is working seven days a week. Delivering Amazon packages. All right, here we are. I 
we were trying to choose which yarn to showcase today and we just got a reorder of this yarn and it would be perfect for uh, Rapido because you could three strand it together and create this gorgeous work of art. So we are gonna be talking about one of our favorites, Moonshine Fine. It's so soft. And it is crazy soft. Here's why. Baby alpaca mixed with organic silk, highland wool and recycled nylon. It is 30% baby alpaca, 30% wool, 25% nylon, 15% silk. It is, I mean, this is crazy to me. It says machine wash, gentle cycle. Oh, it does. Lay flat to dry. Oh, and it says the little 30 Celsius, so machine wash cold. Machine wash cold, dry flat, you can iron it, permanent press. I don't know who would wanna. Who irons their knitting? Don't iron your knitting. Don't iron it, especially with nylon. It takes all the dimension out of your details. This is a sport weight yarn. So your um, cowl with Rapido would be a little bit bigger, but not significantly. There is 437 yards on this. So if you bought three, you could get two of the mediums, easy, or two of the, the smaller size. Um, and we're gonna talk about the colors. We'll put some combinations together for you. But it is beautiful to work with, and we have lots of suggestions of other patterns. And so. this natural creamy color is color 1003, which is the natural undyed color of the yarn. And you can see that beautiful sheen in there. That is the silk, giving it that little bit of shine. And then you get this really nice depth to the color instead of it being a flat solid because of the different fibers. Because while they're all in their natural color, they're not all the exact same shade of cream naturally. They are not. Um, one sample, that would be great. And we have it right here. This was, I believe done in Moonshine Fine. Mm -hmm. One skein. One skein. Look at how big this is. This is one of our patterns. It is tagless. Oh, cause I was gonna have you oh, wear it you. and then we switched. Thank so it's you. right here. Twists and turns. It's knit on a size five needle. Uh, this is a one skein version, but there is also a two skein version. This is what an idea of where I would say you would put markers, right? So here's how I would do it. I would have a marker here, a marker here, 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 and then here every repeat and the edges and the edges and that's what saves you i here's what i like about this and this is a design we've had for a while it when you're working with thinner yarns you get a little bit more drape frankly having alpaca and silk really makes it i'm gonna say um and you guys know ann and i are both wool sensitive you don't feel the wool in here you're feeling alpaca and silk it has an elongated cable here, which I believe is like every um, cable left or uh, a front cable. And then you have these right twists. So we have a left cable with a right twist. We have a really fun way of doing it. So there's uh, three twists in a row and it just is symmetric gorgeousness. I love it. I like the difference between the two different cables and it really knits up really nicely. Uh, Stacy, 400 or 200, I'm not sure what you're talking about. This is one skein of um, Moonshine Fine. Moonshine Fine. Which is 437 yards. So that is that one. Oh, there it. Oh, that that's Thank weird. Thank you, Susan. There's an error on the website that it says it's 200 yards. Can you do a quick change on that for us? Thank you, Stacy, for pointing that out. It is um, actually 437 yards. All right, we're showcasing the neutrals first, and I think the first three would be a gorgeous combination for that classic person. 
This second color is 1011, which you can see is a little more peachy than the mm -hmm. natural. Like it's like an alabaster color. This one is called Moonbeam, which is definitely um, the color. This one, cockle shell. I mean, that's a rhyme word, you know, like in nursery rhymes. Oh yeah. Hello, Rhonda. All right, so let me show you just a couple of our patterns that would be perfect for it, and then we'll show you more colors. We have a, um, I'm gonna say a dozen or more colors. There is lots of good colors in this yarn. It is so, so soft. All right, so here's just a few of them. Oncidium, this is one of our convertibles. It has a really pretty, oh, look at it worked. Okay, it has this really pretty twist. Do you guys can see it's offset? So this cable is twist here, this twist here. Really fun, you can do it. Uh, this one would take two skeins of this beautiful moonshine fine. We have light as a feather. That is one of our patterns. I think last week we talked about it is knit with sport weight size nine needle. So again, quick, quick. Here's one that we did. This was a cashmere blend, but it's a real simple lace pattern. You can see it right here. You've got knit two togethers here, SSKs here, yarn overs here, and then a double decrease in the center, which gives you that uh, triangle look or peak look to your lace. And I believe we have an on-demand class for that one if anybody thinks do, lace sounds scary. Do we have it in both? What do you is mean? Hand knit and machine knit? No, just hand knit. All right, humidity is one of our fun ones. We have sold a lot of this pattern in the last few weeks. It is a Fabergé egg type of pattern where you can see with these pearl stitches, you get a great diamond. One of the things about our cowl patterns, they are symmetric so you can see the point is here and then it ends with a point there because that drives me crazy, <laughs> it's not symmetric. Um, this one comes in three different sizes. Uh, the circumference is either 23, 28, or 50. You need one or two skeins to do any of those three sizes. If you want to practice some really fun stitches, you can buy three different colors of the yarn and create your Parisian Serenity. Each section, I was inspired by Casapinka. Wow, look how short my hair is. See? Ooh, I like it longer. Well, I don't like the bangs. I really like an A-line bob, it's my favorite. So this is three different colors and each section is a different pattern and then it goes out to the same. Or if you wanna do one color, we have this version, which is stunning. I'm like, why aren't you moving? Do we have to do something when we put it in there? No, if you, um, cause you're not zoomed in, you have to click first to zoom and then you can drag. Oh. It won't let you do both at once. Stupid. It's not that smart. Here's just some of the, we've got a lace section, we have a pearl bump section, we've got garter stitch, really, really pretty. And last but not least, let's see, Evening Glow, two colors. And this one is really fun. We did it in three different sizes, extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and 2X to 3X. Really fun. I really like this pattern. We have a chart on there that tells you how many rows of each color. It is just stockinette goodness. And then we have two different neckline details. You could do um, this one that has a little fold over, and then I did an I-cord around mine, which I love that. All right, more colors. Okay, this is what I was thinking for uh, Rapido, because it's really nice neutrals. It would go for, you know, that classic uh, businesswoman. Which this color is 1004, which is kind of this soft, warm gray. Like it has a little bit of brown to it. 
This would also be really pretty for a making circles in the sky. Mm-hmm. It's a very goes with everything kind of palette. All right, we're bumping. Um, I'm just gonna keep going with the neutrals because it's just easier. Um, we have color number 1002. This one is like a really pretty silvery blue gray. This one, to me, this is more pewter uh, because of the cool tone to it versus the warmer gray of number four. So two is cool, four is warm in the grays. Oh my gosh, so many great patterns. Uh, all right, so brights. I love this one. Oh, shoot. I'm like, wait, you're skipping I'm neutral. Skipping. I'm sitting here staring at it like a cat. Like, uh, Color 1001 <laughs> charcoal. Which is a really rich, deep charcoal. You can see the heathering in it from the different fibers. So, so gorgeous. This yarn would also happen to make a great version of the sweater I'm wearing when we get to that segment of the video. Mm -hmm. uh, just as a reminder to everyone, we do have a wish list available on our website where you can put everything you want on your wish list and then email it out to your peeps. You can also do it in the store. You can write down things that you want and we will keep track of it. So when your family isn't sure what to get you, just come on into the store and uh, we'll give them the list and help them find it to make it very, very simple. So what neutral combinations will you put together in here? I said this. Yep, I, that's like the kind of warm combo. If you're more of a cool tone person, I think move the cream over here with the okay. cooler grays. I have done that before. Uh, something with the three shades like that. It's very pretty. But you could even do like those three. This browns it up. Yeah, so 11, um, four, and one. And the other option that we were talking about is one, even though oh. we're saying one, it's 1,001, two, and three. One, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. Nice and easy. All right. We're gonna start showing you some of the colors and we will pair more combinations for you. Uh, who doesn't love 1006 and the red, which I realize we need some red in this store. Something yeah. happened to red and burgundy in the last uh, week. Well, the holidays happened. I know. <laughs> um, but this is that beautiful, warm, kind of more cherry red, Christmas red. Like it has that orange red tone versus a blue red tone. And that is 1006 or six to make it easy because they're all thousands. I have a great advanced one that you could do, advanced at the holidays. Oh, I yes. see where you're going. Mm -hmm. You guys know there's always gonna be a pink. 1007. Which this one is definitely a blue pink. Like it's a cooler pink. Mm hmm So here's my thoughts. Do a Valentine's Rapido. You could start ahead of time, 10 and a half needle with color three, color seven, and color six. It would be gorgeous stranded together. That'd be beautiful. It'd even be fun to almost do like, you know, that sweater that from yesterday, mm -hmm. you could do like, almost do like a blended version, like the sweater and have it start out with like two strands of red, one strand of pink, and then do one red, two pink, and then do two pink, one white, one pink, two white, so you get like more of an ombre out of it would be really fun too. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what Lisa Bowman picked up for her birthday. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to do that. What was the name of that one? Do you remember? Notion Pullover. Okay. Like I have a notion. I do have a notion to start a new project. <laughs> that's probably what the designer was thinking. I've got a notion to sell you all this pattern. That? 
Okay, here it is. Here's what I love about it. She literally, we told you guys, three strands held together. She tells you, four strands, sorry. Four strands held together, so she tells you how many of each. You're only using three colors, but mm -hmm. it's like two strands of this pink, one of the others, and then it transfers one, two, one, and then one, one, two. And we're not doing this nonsense. None of this black. Yeah, we just opted for basically doing the ribbing in like the same color combo as yes. where you start. And we all love this little heart. I can't wait to see Lisa's. This was her birthday present to herself. And she's doing, if you guys know Lisa, she's got the most gorgeous red hair. She's doing it um, in her golds and oranges, which would look fantastic. It's going to be fabulous. Some other options for this pattern. We have the, I don't know. Ochoco. Ochoco cowl. Again, one skein's all you need. I, and you guys, I wore this um, type of style yesterday. So many compliments on it. It's essentially a cowboy cowl that you sew in the back. You seam it. So you're starting, I don't even know where you're on starting. That on one, I would guess on that stockinette side on the right. Except for it's knit this way. Hmm. See? But that's a bind off edge on the other side. Yeah, I know. It's tricky. This no, one's I a think different. You're casting on here, like all the way around. Huh. Maybe here? Now mm. I'm confused because right? it looks because like it goes when you both look at ways. The seam, it, all the stitches are going here. Right? Dun, dun, dun. I think it's like here. This Here's, is a totally Susan style cowl. Susan, have you bought it yet? <laughs> cast on, bind off. That's what I'm going to say. Like, and look, they did like the super loose one on the edge. Yeah. But still super pretty. There's nothing fancy about this. One part you have stockinette. The other side you've got some it, uh, SSKs or knit two together. Some pearls, some yarn overs. Easy peasy. Making circles in the sky. Speaking of which... Fantastic. I forgot about this one. This is Melanie did these using a worsted mohair, which who doesn't love a, most, a worsted mohair? Here's another one. Um, here's another one. So cute. This is one of the ones I did when I was saying I did a black and a gray piece. Look at all these. Are so fantastic. I love it. I love pictures. Oh, and it even says six people made it. Okay, we're moving on to more colors. Um, and this one is really interesting. The next two seem very close, but I will tell you they are different. 10, 14, or 14. It's kind of a chartreuse green gold. It's like that patina green. This is called pear, and it's not really pear. Maybe a ripe pear? I mean, pear. I guess it depends on the type of pear, because, you know. And the season. There's too many species of fruit now. If you're a 49er fan, these two combination would be amazing. Red and gold, which red is color number six, and this gold is color five. This is more of an olivey yellow gold instead of the green of the previous gold. If you're someone who loves fall colors, uh, this next one, I think this paired up would be super rich. Color 13, which is this pretty like caramel color. And if you don't believe me. Ironically, they call it toffee. Look, which it's... toffee is hard cracked caramel. Just right. Just to let you know. But it's clearly caramel. Mm -hmm. so I'm not making it up when I describe the color, you guys. So color 3, 13, and 5. Uh, Susan found this wow. beauty. This is gorgeous. Cast on, Susan. Cast on. This is lace wake lusciousness you can see it is a stole or a wider a wrap it's could be used as a scarf um and this one i'm not gonna lie it's a little pay attention this is the but project it's a beauty 
You go shut yourself in your craft room. Look at, there's cables right here. Chevron lace, really Reverse pretty. Reverse stockinette. Yeah. Yeah, this is a go away, nobody talk to me mm -hmm. project. What do they say? I'm always curious. But sometimes I need a go away, nobody no talk to me it. project. Yeah. That's beautiful though. Oh, see, shawl wrap. So this one is 45 by 160 centimeters. We'll say 18 by, who knows? Whatever. I was like, I'm trying to do the new math, just divide by three, right? So, okay, 50, 60s, we'll because say 70. Divide by three. Because you, in new math, you just round up 2.54, who could divide it? You just divide it by three, and that's about, it's about 57. Do you, I, divide, I, mean, I divide it by 10 and then multiply by four because 10 centimeters is about four inches. What did you say? You, t you divide it by 10 and then you multiply it by four because 10 centimeters is about four inches. Mm, that we have a different way. I think because you, so it's like you haven't sixty-four inches. The joy of new math. Thankfully, I no. have not because Straight it up. it sounds confusing All to me. Four kids. Okay. This <laughs> Susan's in the back going la 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 la. Yeah. We this said is math. The last one. Darla, we'll see you later. She's on in a meeting and her phone's on mute. Okay, so you can just look at the pictures. Holy Color Toledo. 15 is kind of a, like, halfway between cornflower and periwinkle. Because mm -hmm. it's got that purple leaning, but it's more blue. Nancy Ox. Um, this is lighter in real life. On our monitor, it is definitely darker. So, in real life, it is not. On the monitor, it looks like periwinkle. But yeah. it is not. If you take a screenshot and then knock the saturation down by about 10 points, it'll mm -hmm. be a lot closer. That's what I have to do on blues for the photos. 1009. Which is like a soft navy, not as bright in person as the camera picks up. It if oversaturates you're someone blues. someone who likes freedom colors, beautiful. Oh, that'd be pretty. Because you'd get just these little twinkles of red throughout mm -hmm. the blue background. Or your blues. You don't want any red? Beautiful. Just be a blue person. We've got this stunning shade. Color number 10. Which is a really pretty bright aqua. Like, think tropical waters. You wish you were on vacation at the beach. Blue. Mm -hmm. I agree. They are also beautiful. And I think stunning purple. It's that nice, rich middle of purple and, or middle of red and blue violet. Oh, that'd be a fun one. Mm -hmm. For all the jewel tone peeps. Purple aqua blue, which is 8, 10, and 9. All right, Eight, so nine, ten. just remember, everything can be found on the website. If you want your yarn wound, we would love to wind it for you. All you have to do is write in the notes, please find me, and we will wind it and send it on its merry way. I would not hand want, I would not want to hand wind this at all. Um, Anything more than 200 yards, I'm like, let me stick it on the winder. We have gift cards, so that's another thing. Your family doesn't know what to get you. We've got gift cards available on our website. It's an instant download. They can print it out. You can do it to your favorite knitter. What's nice is being a worldwide store now, we ship around the world, and they can get a, they can get a present sent to them anytime. All right, we're gonna talk about what we're wearing because somehow I've talked for an hour and that was very easy to do. I am wearing the Coterie Shawl. We do have an on-demand class for this and it is knit out of Moonshine Fine, two skeins. And it doesn't look like it'd be two skeins, but look at the length on it. It is not a small shawl. And this one, I 
think you start at the bottom. I did mm -hmm. teach the class, but you start at the bottom and you work your way. So here, I like that. Yep, this first. Mm -hmm. Knit this, and then you end up with this. Oh, yes, Leslie Flaherty, the pressed flower cardigan would mm. be beautiful out of this yarn. That'd be amazing. And I know so a lot cozy. I've been knitting that. Super cozy, super soft. Like, what's not to love? Here we go. It's beautiful. And you don't have to have a self striping. I think it's just as pretty with a solid. Here we just pick two high contrasting colors and voila. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll show you what Susan's wearing. Susan, Anna. And Susan will be able to make her way out. I'm like, we will show them what Susan's wearing, but she's got to get out here first. All right, this 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 would be a good yarn. Yeah, this is ground pepper, which is a sport weight top down sweater that is all done in one piece. This is the style of V-neck I like because if you're using something like a self-striping, your colors line up. You don't have to do try to match anything because mm -hmm. it's all knit at once. And then you're working it flat mm -hmm. until you get to that center point and then you join it in the round. And then you divide for sleeves and then you go, go, go. And you're transitioning between five, four or five colors on the pattern. I don't remember. Or you do it all in a solid color, which would be gorgeous. It is the most comfortable fit sweater. I love the way they did the, the raglan detail. They're like a knit in the stitch below it's a lifted increase mm -hmm. um, so it creates this really fine detail line you want to turn around and show the back isn't this gorgeous like there's nothing elaborate about it but it's just it's one of my favorites i do think a solid color would be beautiful oh yeah for sure all right susan the poncho queen <laughs> you need it back there i do it's cold back there uh, let's see, Harvest Poncho, I believe it's by Earth Yarns, U-R-T-H. Uh, two, two skeins? Yeah, I had to use two skeins of the stripey and one of the orange. So you have a solid and a self-striping. And it's kind of different on the back. More of the solid, less of the stripey. Was that the sock kit? The socks? No, but it could be. We yeah. had full skeins at the time. Mm-hmm. But same stuff. Same yeah. stuff. So, thank you, everyone. As always, we could not do this job without you. Um, and you guys bring us way more joy than you know. Um, so, we will see you all tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Anna and Susan will be hosting. I will be... Everly. Uh, that's right. Corralling an almost three-year-old. So, have an amazing day. And we'll see you soon. Don't forget, today at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, I will be going live on Zoom for Knit, Sip, and Hook with Boss Lady. Come join us. It's so fun. It's the most relaxing hour. Yesterday, we, w we looked on Ravelry, and I found like seven pattern sweaters that I need to knit. So thank you everyone so much. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.